Now, if there are any questions regarding how you go about selecting your fish. Now, you know, today it is so hard to get wild fish. All the fish are being farmed. 90% of the fish you see in the store is farmed. And um, why? Because people are growing fish. That's why I'm losing my taste of the fish nowadays. Well, you got to ask for the wild one. Yeah, exactly. And it's much more expensive. Yeah. It takes me almost three days to get the fish. And I have to wait for him to bring it in. Yeah. Because it's, it's all wild, all farmed fish. And, and what they're fed on? Chemicals. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're fed on the same water they live, breathe, go to the washroom, everything, same place. and. They feed on that, and when we are later on in our life, when we are faced with different types of illness, and we wonder where it comes from, that's part of what we eat, part of what we intake, it's part of what we live. And unfortunately, it, even in Jamaica, they are farming fish because the, the ocean has become a highway. There's so many cruise ships there that the ship, the fish, has nowhere to go. They have to leave. They have to leave because the, the cruise ship are coming in every, every hour of the day. So they, they have to get out of there and, and find food somewhere else. So if you really want to put uh, fish in your diet, I would say definitely look for the farm, the um, wild fish. It's a little more expensive, but um, it's better. And I think if more people start doing that, then it will put an emphasis on the farm one, so it will less be there a demand for it, and they will have to start producing more fresh ones. I like this crowd. Oh yes, yes. And, and also because when you when you are buying the fish and you want to find out if you sometimes you ask. Even yesterday I was at the Chinese store on Montreal Road, and he didn't know if it was farmed or fresh. So you have to, first of all, uh, not, not many people want to smell it, but you, you have to, it have to smell fish. It has, you have to check the eyes. See, check the eyes. And it, the eyes are green eyes. That's right. See, a lot of people know that. The, Dark, tell her again for me. If the eye dark, it's not good. And it kills. It kills supposed to be red. 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 Yes. Yes. Pink. Pink. Pink, yes. Yeah. 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 If you see they already take out the intestines, don't bite. You want to see them do it in front of you. Because, yeah, take the intestines out. Once the intestines is out, don't bite. Because that means it was, it was going and they remove it so it doesn't smell. The same as buying meat. Any time you go into the store and you see meat that is already seasoned, don't buy it. Any meat that is already seasoned, don't buy it because there's something and they are trying to discard the scent. So they season it. Yes. So that is a little tip to uh, add to your shopping list. Okay? You want to do a few pitch? Can we take off of that right up or? Oh, that's Okay. <laughs> Here today from the Jamaican Ottawa Community Association in collaborating with Jaco Combe and the program in pr promoting healthy eating. I'm a retired chef. My name is Luke Campbell. I'm also the president of the Jamaican Ottawa Community Association. I'm also the social director for the Canadian Federation of Chefs and Cooks. I'm also a community food advisor to the City of Ottawa Public Health. And this is the, what we do, is promote healthy eating. And this month we are promoting eating fish. 
So Mr. Campbell asked me to come here today to give a presentation on cooking fish deep. So today I have demonstrated um, deboning some red snapper and uh, showing how to debone a red snapper and the many things that you can do when you debone your fish by using the meat itself as the meal and having the bones to make a beautiful soup. Healthy eating is part of what we all should be concerned about because it's our life and what we eat is what we need to sustain living and I think one should take great pride in making their meal a major part of their day and their life. And therefore, we are working together as a community to enforce and to promote and help people to understand that eating healthy is one way that life can be longer and be very selective when you are choosing your food and the type you are going to be preparing. It's also important to know when you go shopping what to look for. And um, today it's very hard to find wild fish. There's a lot of farmed fish on the market and you also have to ask questions when you go into the fish market. If you're particular about farmed and fresh, question the attendant to find out which fish is fresh and which is farmed so you can be able to make your selection. And I think that eating healthy is one a major part of our life. And I think we should all be concerned about how we eat, what we eat, and how it's prepared. Oh, my name is Myra Flash, and I'm a um, participant in the program that's happening, and I go to the, um, the aerobic class, and I go to all the presentation, and I find them very interesting, because we had juice in one evening, and we know the different kind of juice that we can do, which is good for you. And the activity, the aerobic class starts from 6 to 7, Mondays and Wednesdays, and it runs for six weeks. And Tara work her butt off. <laughs> and we have a great time because she plays all West Indian music, and we look forward to it in every evening. We really enjoy it, and after that, you know, like we have a really good group and really good communication. My name is Ruben and uh, we are here at the breaking of a new class that we just had for this um, seniors um, fitness program and um, I enjoy it very much because then it keeps me busy and keep me active and I hope uh, others will be able to uh, uh, participate in this coming uh, semester which begins next month and um, it's, it's a good program for anyone who would want to get out of the house and get moving their body and um, fresh air and whatever it takes to, um, to be uh, active. My name is Tara Morissette and I am the fitness instructor for the Seniors Program with uh, Jack Okombe that is running the um, health and wellness for the seniors and every Monday and Wednesday we do um, fitness to Caribbean music and we have a good time for a good solid hour and we sweat it up and we have a wonderful time and it's all about keeping seniors active and engaged and you know coming out and socializing so it's a lot of fun and it's, so it's a good opportunity for um, to address overall wellness so today we're actually invited uh, chef Luke Campbell to come in and um, teach our participants how to prepare escovitch fish and fish is something that promoting you know healthy eating and um, just a, a way to make sure that everybody's taken care of overall and their overall wellness.